It's been hard to imagine what it was like for Dell to watch our Secret Shopper series and have all their worst problems brought to light. But after today, I won't have to imagine it. And neither will Nick, because I paid five of you to Secret Shop our store, and I'm sitting with the Creator Warehouse head of product, Nick Light, to enjoy the results firsthand. We didn't tell him we were doing this. I say enjoy because I got a sneak peek and it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Unlike this segue to our sponsor. This is a star. Odoo, throw away all those mismatching apps that you're using to run your business. With Odoo's all-in-one software, you can focus on your end goal, making money. Click the link in the description or watch till the end of this video to learn more. We started with prominent contributors from our community, then we picked two more applicants at random from our Discord. This was done to ensure that if we misrepresented the experience, we could be held accountable by these strong voices. Each shopper was given 300 US dollars to spend at LTTstore.com and given the task of fabricating a reasonable issue with the order and reporting on the customer service experience. To ensure that their stories would be plausible, we reached out to a disgruntled former member of the LTT Store team for some inside information. So there's plenty of issues that come up on the day-to-day. -day. Desk pads that will show up with marks and scuffs on them. Long shipping times is one that we would hear about a lot. There'd be missing items, missing bonus bin items, um, the free stuff. Uh. Water bottle lids that would break right here and screwdriver bit storage that would be misassembled and would um, separate from the rest of the driver. Okay. <laughs> Are you having fun yet? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a journey. Let's see how we did, starting with secret agent Nene, fact checker extraordinaire from the ECC squad who ordered stickers, lounge pants, a sketchy women's V-neck, a screwdriver, some bits, and the big boy 2000 by 1600 PTM 7950 thermal pad. Right out of the gate. It wasn't too good because Nene had a real problem. All right. She didn't have to fabricate one. <laughs> the thermal pad got squished and seeped out of the sides of the packet. Ooh. Oh. Not hmm. the best. Okay. I've seen worse. Sure. Not ideal. It looks like some of it escaped from the envelope and melted into the fabric. Ouch. Oh. So squish and heat. Because the squish, like the edge seepage, yeah. not that big of a deal. That'll still work. If it gets on the shirt, That's that a whole sucks. Other yep. Okay, here's what we said. So in regards to your t-shirt, I'd be happy to replace this for you at no additional cost. As for your PTM 7950, it remains usable in this state. Due to the semi-liquid nature of the material, it can be reshaped or used in an imperfect form factor as needed. The pressure of your machine's heatsink will ensure that all the necessary amount of contact is achieved. For this reason, we've declined to offer a replacement for this item. We do not require you to send back the defective merchandise. Please feel free to keep it or dispose of it as you see fit. Thank you for the reply and replacement t-shirt. I'm afraid I'm still not happy about the PTM 7950. Question for you though, Ploof. Was she actually upset or did we ask her to hammer on it? Uh, I actually did reach out to Nene and ask if she could be our disgruntled hmm. customer. Ah, but, disgruntlement. But then when the real issue happened and this was the reply she got back, you'll see why she was actually a little unhappy. Okay. I'm aware it could technically be used, but the damage it suffered is going to make it more difficult than it would normally be. That's so it's fair. not what I bought. I know it'll work, but I wanted this because I thought it would be easier and better than regular thermal paste, which is true. I think so far, everyone's actually been pretty reasonable. Yep, agreed. <gasps> no! Okay, well, hold on a second. So that was a Saturday to... Hold on, yeah, so Tuesday. the 23rd. Wait. Is the 12th a holiday? <laughs> no! So is the week following a holiday. Oh, boy. I think if we were to speak with the support team, the reasoning would have been recovery from the holiday week, taking a little bit longer to get started on the following week. With that said, that is something that we can actively work on and, and improve. The imperfections will not affect performance. We recommend putting it in the freezer for a few hours to make it easier to work with. If you have issues with it, let us know. We'd be happy to help as best we can. Record your thermals, blah, blah, etc., etc. Also correct. 
It is way easier to work with if you cool it down, and it is possible that the difficulty that she had working with it was because it wasn't cold when she was attempting to use it. I don't feel like doing PTM jigsaw is a fair statement. You replaced the t-shirt without question. Now you won't replace the PTM 7950. If you accept the t-shirt was damaged, you must surely also accept that not all of the PTM 7950 is still in the packaging. Could you at least replace the three quarters of it that is damaged? Okay, it took us a little longer than we'd probably like. It's August the 20th by now, but... But it looks like we did send a replacement for the PTM 7950, although we called it TPM in this case. Um, and we're gonna send two actually since they're working with a thread ripper just in case the issue occurs again in shipping. You oh. should receive a new order confirmation and let us know if there are any other issues. So, not gonna lie, I was a little stressed until I read that. <laughs> I'm a little stressed still, but <laughs> here we are. <laughs> did you know about this case? Did this get escalated to you or like? It did not, um, but the typical escalation path these days is not actually to me. So we have a number of other leaders on the team these days, and that's not me shirking responsibility. That's just me giving an explanation. I'm really glad to see that we did wind up dealing with it. We did wind up getting a replacement out to the customer. Uh, and hopefully from there, they were able to utilize it without issue. Here's what Nene had to say. I've actually decided to give two ratings because there were two experiences together and they were vastly different. First, for the real issue with the PTM, I'm gonna give this a two and a half out of five. This was an unpleasant support experience, but the eventual resolution was practical and focused on solving the actual problem instead of just blindly replacing the item. I couldn't make use of it in the state it arrived because of my physical disabilities. In the end, I managed to convey this and support agreed that rather than replacing the whole sheet, they would send two additional smaller sheets to stand in for the areas I won't be able to use. In my opinion, it was a perfect resolution because it solves the real problem while reducing waste. If they'd offered this in the first couple of emails, it would have been a five out of five, but it took 12 days. During this time, there were several long waits for a response. So rather than my initial thought of three and a half, I decided to dock an additional half point. The second rating was for a slightly manufactured issue with the t-shirt, I'm giving it a five. Support offered to replace the t-shirt immediately without asking for photos or any further explanation. It was the easiest thing in the world and the absolute gold standard for what contacting a support team should be like. It was so good, it made me a little worried people could take advantage of Creator Warehouse. Don't do that. You know? Please. If that happens, we'll have to revise our policies and it'll be a this is why we can't have nice things situation. We like being able to provide no questions asked replacements if there's an issue with a product. Are you ready for round two, sir? No, but here we go. Secret agent Alyssa, an active mod of our subreddit, bought a mystery t-shirt, three Northern Lights desk pads, two MCM Arch desk solutions, and a sticker pack. I got my package yesterday, everything looked great, but I realized I've got one too many medium arch plates and one too few of the small arch plates. Also, a bigger issue. There's a huge red mark on my desk pad as though someone took Sharpie to it. <laughs> Gee, Alyssa, I wonder how you put that mark on your desk pad. <laughs> Can I have some help with this? Thanks for contacting LTC Store. It's email from, oh, this is just our autoresponder oh. saying, hey, we'll respond within the next 24 to 48 hours. Okay. How long did we actually think it? We took so, three days again. Over a weekend. That makes sense, okay. So we do technically have some staffing over the weekend, but it is reduced. So if you're submitting a support ticket on a Friday, you might expect to see a little bit more of a wait time. And you know, this is actually probably a good prompt that we should update this to say one to two business days rather than 24 to 48 hours. It's also worth noting that we often have big bursts in sales on Fridays. Yes. So we can actually have an influx of tickets combined with lower staffing over the weekends. Hey Alyssa, I'm sorry to hear that you received an effective and incorrect merchandise. First, I'd be happy to send you another small arch set to resolve the missing plates. Awesome. Second, for the desk pad, we unfortunately do not stock any of no. this item, so we can't replace it for you. At this you time, ordered the last one, Alyssa? At this time, I could either refund the affected desk pad or replace it with a different size or design that we currently have in stock. In either case, you would not be required to send this back or send back the extra medium plates you received. Please let us know how you'd like to proceed. So a bit of context on this one. This looks like it would have been an order that came in during the Lime Day promotion where mm. we were clearing out. We cleared out a bunch of stuff. How many SKUs did we clear out? A lot. Hundreds. Um, so. Well, not hundreds of SKUs, but definitely. Hundreds of SKUs. No way. 
hundreds of SKUs. This is a little bit of an out of the norm situation. And as I referred to earlier, we actually have a number of new folks coming onto the team and who have come onto the team over the last 12 months or so, who are heavily focused on nailing down some of these, let's say, smaller issues that come up from time to time when we're clearing out old inventory. So moving forward, I would expect this to be a, a very rare situation. I appreciate you got back to me so quickly. Sucks I can't get the exact replacement. How about the WAN desk pad? It's not the same, but I can make it work. And our response said, that's perfect. We've created a new shipment containing your 15 by six WAN desk pad. Uh, we aren't able to send the plate separately, so feel free to keep the extra small arches you'll be receiving. Awesome. As a rating for LTT in particular for me, definitely five stars. The quality of the merchandise is superb. I would absolutely order from LTT store again. Everything was a win-win in my books. Time for Michael. Secret Agent Michael's PTM 7950 also genuinely phase changed in transit and looked worse for wear. It wasn't nearly as bad as Nene's though, so he went with the help the item I bought is too big approach. Now the Merino underwear explicitly states that if you have a concern with the sizing after trying it on, to reach out to customer support. So we did. Hi, I bought some PTM 7950. It seems to have melted. I've attached an image. Also, I got the Merino wool underwear in medium since the regular medium fits great, but it seemed this to be not quite the same fit. I was hoping to get another thermal pad and ideally the Merino underwear in small. Oh, how long did we take? Oh God, August 16th. Okay. And Monday. August 19th. Okay. So Friday, Friday to Monday. Monday. Y'all gotta stop reaching out on Friday, man. <laughs> You're gonna kill poor Nick. You're gonna kill him. No, He's kidding. gonna lose his hair. Sorry to hear about the issue. What's likely occurred is the material began to slightly change phases during transit due to the ambient temperature. That's However, a thing. That's totally a thing. It is. However, based on the images provided, your PTM remains usable in this state. Due to the semi-liquid nature of the material, it can be reshaped. Uh, the pressure of your heat sink will this ensure. This looks like a so copy this pasta. Is our, this is our, uh, one of our form fills. Uh, basically, this is something that comes up pretty regularly where somebody's like, hey, my thing melted. And we're like, yep, it's okay. Throw it in the freezer. You'll be all good. It'll be cool. Literally, it's the first two letters of the product name. Phase, wait. Phase tange. <laughs> first letter. <laughs> yeah, there'll probably be some float plane exclusives on this one. Or you know what? No, no, no float plane doesn't get a shout out today. LTT store shout out. Water bottle. That's the old water bottle. The, yeah, but I got the new V2 spout. Oh. Yeah. Cool. You can get the V2 spout now. It's better, it's more durable. Yeah, I can't oh break my it. gosh. Can't Ow. break it. For your Merino underwear, your exchange request would not ordinarily be covered under our return or exchange policy. However, given the circumstances you presented, we are able to grant a one-time exception. Michael said, I'd give customer service a five out of five since they addressed my issues quickly and reasonably. Considering I sent the ticket Friday afternoon, <laughs> thank you for recognizing that. They responded in less than half a business day and I can't really ask for more than that. I'm happy with how they handled the underwear and I feel like if I did have problems with the PTM, I'd probably get another one. Yeah, so I'm really glad that the team included that as a follow-up. Hey, if there are any issues, please let us know. We Trust us, bro. He literally gets PTMSD whenever I say that. Next up is Skoshi. Uh -oh. A broken clip. Uh-oh. Skoshi may have misunderstood what the common issues with the water bottle lid are. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, that's not it. The old one used to break right, right here. There. Yeah, that is not a thing that used to happen. You would have had to force that. In fact, I think I can see the marks on it from where she forced it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's see how we handle that. I recently received my shipment and my water bottle lid has not been staying on. <laughs> sure. We said, sorry to hear that your lid has broken. We'd be happy to grant a free replacement lid. Future replacements can be purchased here. In this case, I mean, we probably could have looked a little bit closer at the picture and saw that, hey, this isn't actually broken. You just need to pop it, back, it back in. in. <laughs> yeah. But to the team's credit, <laughs> this is an ongoing issue that has since been resolved with the V2, you know. Oh. Scoshi said, I would definitely give five stars as far as support goes. Responses were fast, and both emails I had to send effectively solved the issue on the first response without hassle. It was easy to find the contact us page on the LTT store website, which you can't take for granted these days. At some point, we may have some kind of bot or AI agent or something like that, but what I can promise is that we're not gonna hide it, which is what a lot of companies seem to do these days. Overall, great customer service, and it made me trust that if I had any actual issues, I would be able to receive service. 
And I can speak to that a little bit as well. So we are actively looking into new solutions, as Linus said, for bot support. And the purpose of that would not be replacing any of the existing reps that we have now or trying to minimize the human interactions that we have, but it would be removing a lot of the tier one, if you want to call it that, interactions with support of where's my order, I need a replacement, I want to get a refund, those types of things. Yep. And then allowing our team to give even more time and effort to the folks that have you know, a problem like the first one that was addressed there with the t-shirt and the, the leaking PTM. So we're cooking a lot of things in the background and uh, hopefully they will elevate the experience even further on LTT Store. Last but not least, we reached out to the leader. They accidentally ordered everything to the wrong address. But after intercepting the package, they used a handy dandy stitch ripper to sabotage our merchandise and send some complaints to the support staff at LTTstore.com. Warning long. Uh-oh. Not great. Not great. That's not how that would come apart because they would have probably talked to the fashion team about this. This one's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Thought it'd be easier to just oh, okay. forward yep, this yep, to you. Yep, my yep, delivery yep. address should be the same as my billing address. Google Pay goofed on that. So unfortunately this order has received a shipping confirmation. It's not possible for us to cancel the order or modify its address, which is true. If it's already in the system, then yep. there's not much we can do. I got everything worked out. I do have a question though. Why did I get charged taxes on checkout only to be charged taxes mm. from the customs authority in my country? Have to say, not a fan of being charged taxes twice. This has been a long standing issue, uh, which is very frustrating due to how the IOSS is handled. I believe it's called International One Stop Shop. Um, it's not actually that much of a one stop shop, it, it turns out, because different customs authorities tend to handle these things differently. And the implementation that we have on our Shopify site um, is imperfect, I would say. Um, we haven't been able to find a solution to that. So our, our standard policy is, hey, let us know as soon as you get a receipt, pay those taxes, and then we will issue that back to you. And then our, our poor accounting team has to deal with all the other elements in the background of, of changing the reporting there. So we understand it's definitely not an ideal situation. We always do our best to you know be in line with any laws that might be applicable to us, be that tax or otherwise. Um, quite frankly, I've, I've been told by multiple people that the way that some other stores handle it is they just don't. All right, he sent us the customs and tax bill. And we'll provide your VAT refund immediately. This will go to your original payment method. Okay. Totally resolved. But wait, there's more. Hey there, I'm a little annoyed. First of all, you guys ship with Parcel Force in the UK who have the highest clearance fees making my order cost more. My box was pretty beat up, which wasn't fun either. Luckily, nothing fragile. Then it seems one of the t-shirts has some kind of a defect. Like, look at this sleeve. Sorry if I'm being rude here. I am autistic and not always the best at communicating. I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't think that was rude at all. Yeah, I think if honest. you're a little annoyed, then it's fine to say you're a little annoyed. I think our support team would vouch that in the grand scheme of annoyed customers, this is on, uh, on the kinder side. And to be clear, the vast majority of our customers are very kind and very nice. Yep. Um, but and there are many of them. We're approaching, I think, a million orders? We're likely to hit that within the next few months here, yeah. Uh, and most of you are so kind. So we said, hey, I'm sorry about the issue. Uh, could I have you confirm which shirt is having the problem? We should be able to provide further assistance once that is confirmed. Okay, it's the color one. It has a triangle on it, question mark. Sorry to hear- Oh no! <laughs> sorry to hear you received defective merchandise. It's not possible to replace this shirt due to a lack of stock. Sorry about that. And leave this to make things right. We can do one of the following. One, provide a different product or color variant. Two, a refund. Or three, store credit for the value. Please let us know if any of these options work for you. The only issue with store credit plus shipping is that I'm gonna get slammed for the import fees again, which would make having just a single t-shirt order still end up costing money. If I get a straight refund, will I also be refunded an appropriate amount for the tax and customs that I had to pay on the defective product? And this one gets a little bit complicated, actually. So we said, at this time, any taxes you were charged from our store have already been refunded to you through the VAT refund. Uh, since we do not charge any other customs or duty fees, you would have to claim back any fees you've paid if doing so is allowable under your country's regulations. Sure, just refund the original payment method. It was not an ideal solution, but I appreciate you taking the time to explain my options. I didn't mean to be rude. Have a great weekend. Oh my God, there's more? I have a problem. My cat spilled a beer on my desk pad last night. Any chance you know how to clean it, I don't want to ruin it. So we said, uh, generally speaking, they should be cleaned with lukewarm water and a damp cloth. In more extreme cases, your dust pad can be machine washed cold on the delicate cycle and then place face up on the rack to dry. Obviously you don't want to throw it through a dryer, um, yeah, given that don't. it is rubber. rubber.
So my rating is three out of five. Although this didn't impact my rating, I do wanna point out that quite a few of the items I wanted to order were out of stock and that made me a little sad. We are working on that. We're actively working on that. Our SKU count kind of ballooned over the last three or four years and we haven't done a great job of managing clearing out the inventory that we just have bits and pieces left of. The LTT inventory management experience sale we had this year cleared out, according to Nick, literally hundreds of SKUs and then Black Friday, Cyber Monday, which will probably happen after this video goes up, don't miss it, uh, is gonna clear out a bunch more. And then once that's done, we're gonna try to maintain a more manageable SKU count so we don't just have mediums in this shirt and extra small and triple XL of that shirt and we can keep things a little tighter. Actually, Black Friday should be a little different this year. So keep your eye out and sign up for the uh, email list if you haven't already. For the most part, I was happy with the support I received. The first annoyance I had was a complete lack of a support email address on the store website. I understand there's a contact form and yeah, I get it, but we need to use a contact form because you can't actually rely on email. To we had a lot of issues with stuff getting flagged as spam. Yes, that is true. And to be clear, you still technically can email the support email and it will go through to our ticketing system. We don't prefer that you do it that way, but um, we wanna make sure that however you're trying to reach out to us, you can. Um, and that our support team can get back to it as soon as possible. Our support team does a pretty great job. Yes. All you gotta do is go on the subreddit and you'll find. Yeah, maybe, uh, Ploof, maybe we can people. throw in some, some subreddit posts here of appreciation for the support team. I would have preferred for support to be done quicker, especially when I sent an email about a change of address within the hour of placing my first order. And that's something that an automated system could help with. 100%. But something that humans cannot necessarily help with because tickets are always gonna be first in, first out. So it's not an issue of how quickly you sent in that email. It's an issue of how many emails were sitting in the queue already. I would consider changing delivery partners for the UK. It was handled by Parcel Force. We don't always know 100% which courier partner is going to be used by our courier partner. And to add to that, even if we don't have a certain courier partner selected as part of our overall group that we utilize, whatever courier partner we're using might subcontract out to another for certain regions. So for example, some areas in Canada, only Canada Post serves. So even if you ship something via FedEx, it then gets passed over to Canada Post, you'll see an updated tracking code on Canada Post and that's who will handle your final delivery. We're not at the scale where we can have a UK office and distribution center and an EU office and distribution center and an Australian office and distribution center. It's just not in the cards anytime soon. But I will say multiple distribution centers is something that has always been suggested over the years and we're in a better position than we ever have been to start considering things like that. So that's not a commitment that this will happen, but just know that we're, we're actively working on these things and, yeah. and we're constantly thinking of ways that we can serve you better as LTT store. It would be nice if there was a document that explained how to get a refund on the import fees. Yeah. We'd have to have a different document for literally every country. And sometimes different regions in different countries. Um, we'll file that away with ideas though. I was a little disappointed at the amount of plastic packaging used for a clothing product. Since when are we still using plastic packaging? What item is this? Oh, that's the Mac address shirt. Oh, uh, and then what's the one on the left? I don't know what that is. I thought we switched over to these glassine bags for all the shirts. So on a lot of our shirts we have, depending on the volume of the order, sometimes we're not able to, given the, the overlap of order volume and product size. Oh, he means the volume of our order from the supplier. Sorry, yes, the quantity that we're ordering right. of an item. So if we're ordering a few hundred of something that's more niche, and we go and like, hmm, can we also have special packaging? They basically tell us to pound sand. Well, what they tell us is you can order 250,000 of them. The products though, top quality. Stitching was excellent, quality is amazing, they're all very comfortable. I particularly liked the use of a range of people on the store to better gauge sizes. I ended up buying a size larger than usual thanks to that feature and everything fits great. I give it a two and a half out of five. Faster would help. Sorting out the issue with taxes and fees being paid twice alone would have made it three out of five. But what really bothered me was the fact that I imagine many people don't realize they need to ask for a refund on that point. I've ordered previously and needed to request a refund. Support has definitely improved since then on both speed and clarity, but there's still some improvements needed. Overall then, when we did good, we did really good. When we didn't do as good, it's clear that there's some valid criticisms, um, especially with our UK and EU shipping, which we're aware of, but we don't have any 
immediate ways to solve like like once and for all. It's clear that there are some misses that we can give them better tools for. So for example, when there's somebody who has an item that we're not able to replace, maybe there is some sweetener that we can add um, to make that a little bit of a, a less negative experience. Maybe a, we could find some store credit or something. Even if it's not a direct refund, you know, maybe we can do a little bit more to, to take that on our, ourselves and, and own that a little bit further. So I think there's some really good learnings from this. Um, I think that we can definitely make some really small adjustments like 24 to 48 hours to one to two business days and, and yeah. help just smooth things a whole lot. Um, and I think that with time, uh, we're gonna see a whole lot more improvement than we even have to date. I mean, if we had done this three years ago. Sometimes our response times were like weeks. When you go from getting 500 support inquiries in a month to 15,000 support inquiries in a month, literally from July to August, um, yeah, it's, it's hard. hard. It's hard. Like this hard segue to our sponsor. Odoo. Imagine this, you opened up a specialty boutique store that sells bright yellow umbrellas and things are going great, but you have to open 10 different apps just to sell one item. That's where Odoo comes in. Their all-in-one business management software takes the essential elements of any business and combines them into one unified operating system. Check out their CRM and sales apps, which make lead generation and closing deals a breeze. Their point of sale and inventory apps let you both sell and accurately keep track of items, and their accounting app can even help auto-create and send invoices and even integrates with 28,000 banks from all around the world. Odoo's highly customizable nature also means that you only have to choose the apps that your business needs. I mean, you might not need an e-learning app for your umbrella store, right? And if you only need one of their many apps to shore up your processes, you can get access to that for free. Best of all, it's super easy to use with a user-friendly interface, AI-powered features, a dedicated support team, and even an active community of folks just like you. So go start unifying your processes by checking out our link for a free 15-day trial, or to set up a demo with Odoo's expert team. Hard, like this punch to Linus's face. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out more from our Secret Shopper series. We just secret shopped my investment framework. We've secret shopped the big players in the PC integration space. It's not usually this stressful. I'm glad you had fun. I did actually. And also I was stressed. I don't know if this is a net win for us or not. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out.